Yeah, so it is another stunning hot day. Yeah, it feels like June, first of June came with summer weather and it's not stopped. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. We've had about a week now where it's been really, really good mm. every day. Yeah. Yeah, and it um, kind of made us start talking about uh, all of the plans that we've got this yeah. year. Yeah, I mean, obviously camping and stuff like that. But um, we're actually sat outside your parents' house. Mm. So we got us talking about the time that we're going to be spending on your parents' boat. The boat, yeah. Um, we went there for the first time this year, the other night, to have the first kind of meal on there after they'd sailed it around. Yeah, it was uh, just an evening type thing. We went there to just have some pizza uh, instead of going here to have pizza. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And we kind of started talking about how fun it's going to be seeing Charlie on the boat for the first time. Yeah, it's um, funny because we bought him a life jacket last year. Uh, and then never ended up going on the boat because of different things and he hated it he cried as soon as we put it on <laughs> and uh, the other night my dad said that when he took the life jacket out Charlie was laughing at it and he loved wearing it yeah. so that's a that's a pro at least <laughs> it seemed dead cocky like it, <laughs> like he was feeling like he was dead nice <laughs> yeah exactly as we've said before he absolutely loves water like every, everything mm -hmm. to do with water he's obsessed with it isn't he yeah so yeah. um, the thought of being kind of surrounded by it when we go out on, even on day trips and stuff, but we'll more than likely be staying over a couple of nights and yeah. stuff. So it's going to be such an experience for him. Yeah, he's going to love it. He's going to be crazy and he's going to be in heaven and uh, we will not be in heaven. <laughs> no, it's, it's going to be so stressful for us. <laughs> we, uh, we always end up going for a few days or so with them every summer mm. uh, but we've never been with Charlie so when we've been going it's been like put your feet up read a book relax have a few drinks that are, like, it's like it's like the most relaxing few days of the year yeah. almost isn't it yeah and because you don't got like computer tv phone all of that normal stress that you got at home you just put your feet up and you come home so relaxed and uh, now with Charlie, it's going to be the opposite, I think. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely. It is uh, it is not going to be a relaxing few days for us. But it's going to be so much fun for him. Because mm. normally we'll sail out onto the, like, off the east coast of Sweden. Yeah. Uh, towards, like, through the archipelago. And we'll stop at, like, one of the small islands there. Stuff like that. So I think the plan is for this year for us to sail out to one of the smaller islands and let him just run around because we can take the little dinghy out from the boat and kind of, you know, spend all day on one, on one of the islands, can't we? Yeah, that's what we're going to have to do, I think, because sometimes when we go, uh, we don't even go to the island, we just stay, like, on the boat, uh, which is not going to work with a one-and-a-half-year-old. He needs to run and he definitely needs to explore for it to be fun for him. Definitely, he's um, going to feel almost locked in. Yeah, because we're going to be so worried of him falling in all the time, um, and it's going to be stressed to make sure that he doesn't throw stuff off the boat and whatever. So I think it's going to be a much better experience for everybody if we go yeah. uh, into the island and let him run for a bit. Definitely. Yeah, we have been watching a few people uh, on YouTube who have kids that's the same age as Charlie uh, on boats, but they live on their boats. Mm. But obviously their kids have been born and raised into that culture. Yeah. So they're so steady on their feet and they know how to walk on a boat and you can see all of these things and we didn't even uh what do you say go from the harbor yeah we didn't uh, leave the harbor no uh the other night and charlie was like <laughs> <laughs> stumbling around like falling over all the time and it's going to be fun to see how his balance is going to be when the boat is actually moving yeah because he's never been on anything with with an unsteady ground no. has he obviously so yeah, it was uh, it was fun to see him yeah. wobbling around. <laughs> like in, a little in, drunk. <laughs> yeah. 
it was funny. But yeah. yeah, like you said, it's going to be really, really fun to see when we're actually sailing. Because mm. then, it, especially if it's like choppy waters, it can be really, yeah. you know, a lot of movement and stuff. So yeah. it'll be interesting. <laughs> it will be funny. And it's something that I've not thought about. Because like I said, there's people that we've seen, their kids has been raised on this mm. boat. And I'm so used to being on a boat because my parents has had it since I was six or something like that. Uh, so it's just comes so natural and then you saw him not like I said not even leaving the harbour and he could barely stand up <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah it's gonna be fun <laughs> it is gonna be fun yeah yeah it's also something that you get a bit spoiled with like for me who's grown up with it and we've always been on the boat through the summers when I was a kid we've never been on holiday in in any other way we've spent all time off on the boat uh, but you take it for granted and you think like everybody experienced this and then when you went on it the first time you were like oh my god this is amazing yeah it's a whole new uh, thing and that yeah. makes you open your eyes a bit and think like actually it's amazing and it's amazing that we can do this all the time when we want to basically for sure I think it's it's easy to take stuff like that for granted definitely yeah um, especially when you live like this we got like what did it take us to drive out here to my parents? Like 25 minutes yeah. or something. And then from here, it's 10 minutes to the ocean. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so you, people who live here just take you for granted, I think. Yeah. That it's something that you do. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. I think that's one of the beauties about having like a small kid. Because you get to experience things for the first time, like through them yeah. as well. That's how I feel with, with the boat and with camping and stuff like that. Anyway, last year it was really fun to see uh, how Charlie was while we were out camping. Mm. And it's going to be just a whole new experience again, you know, being out there for a few days. Yeah, and even camping again this year is going to be uh, a new experience for him because he don't remember last year. No, yeah. And he's he running now and he can explore a bit more. Like everything, you get to experience it again and again for the first time almost definitely yeah we've got so much to look forward to now when summer is actually here definitely uh, for us who loves to be outside it's so much easier now uh, when it's not that cold anymore because that's why we love summer because we can be outside for whole days when winter was here and it was minus 20 Charlie can't even if we dress Charlie well he can't be outside for more than an hour two hours when it's that cold so it limits us to mm. what we can do and now we can do whatever we want basically yeah yeah anyway um charlie's about ready to wake up now so we're going to go and fill the paddling pool up and enjoy the rest of the afternoon yeah so thank you for watching and please hit the subscribe button if you want to see more of us yeah and um feel free to leave a comment below with uh, maybe some of the things that you're going to be getting up to this summer uh, we'd love to hear them yeah get more inspiration yeah exactly <laughs> yeah so um thanks again for watching and we'll see you next time yeah bye bye <laughs>